Hello, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to have some prayers in a little while, but the main purpose of this broadcast today, this Wednesday, is to talk to you about the reopening of our church. As you may be aware, the government has now said that it is permissible for churches and mosques and temples and other places of worship to reopen. It won't be possible for every church to reopen. Uh, in some places, it'll be easier than in others. The Church of England has issued some guidance to help us in how we reopen and the sorts of things we need to do in order to make our churches safe for people to come back. So the good news is that we're going to be able to reopen All Saints this Sunday morning, that being Sunday the 12th of July, and the Mass, the Sunday Mass, will be as it usually is at 10.30 a.m. There will be a few changes in place in order to facilitate Mass in a safe way. And so we'll be dividing the seating up so that we're all seated at least two metres apart. Uh, in fact, um, the spacing between people will be a bit, uh, a bit greater than that so that uh, we're maintaining our social distancing. We ask that when you come to Mass, if you're going to come, that you use the hand sanitizer as you arrive and as you leave. You don't have to wear a mask in order to come to the service, but obviously if you'd like to wear a mask, you're very free to do so. Equally, if you don't have a mask and you like one, I have uh, a large quantity of masks here for you to um, take um, and wear during the service. If you'd like to um, take us up on that, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, the toilets will be available, but um, for uh, um, practical uh, reasons, they'll be kept locked until somebody needs to, to use them. And in that case, um, one of our church wardens will be very happy to um, open up the toilets for you to use. That's no um, problem at all. You see, with the um, guidance, as things have gone along, the guidance has changed. Uh, and so this is, this is where we find ourselves um, at, at, this, uh, at this point in time. Now, what we're not going to do is just open the church up this coming Sunday on the 12th, just to see what happens. Um, we, it's important that we have a, a plan in place, and I'm planning for the next six months, and I've worked with um, our PCC lay chair and our church wardens and our treasurer to, to set these things in, in place. So we're planning for the next six months. So Mass will continue, all being well, to take place as usual at 10.30 on a Sunday morning for the next six months, as, as, um, as well as we're able to um, plan ahead. That's what we're planning to do. But I realise that a lot of people will still be very frightened about coming out. And so, um, and I understand the reasoning behind that. I understand some people are frightened about coming out. So the service on a Sunday will also be online as well. So the service, the Sunday service on our website and this broadcast on a Wednesday will continue for the next six months as well. So there might, might, may well be people who are coming to church on Sunday and there may well be people who are staying at home still joining in with uh, what's going on here um, by, by um, watching the service at home. So both of those things are going to happen for uh, the next six months. There are a couple of other things as well. So that's, there are four things really. So our services will resume. Our services online will continue, but also we're going to have um, 
at least twice a month the opportunity for people who are clinically vulnerable, those who are clinically vulnerable, will be given an opportunity to come to church where the kind of safeguards we have in place uh, will be much, much higher and um, there'll be far, far fewer people here so that those who are frightened to come out but who would um, like to come out if there was an opportunity to come to church from us will be able to do so but there'll be much, much more rigorous controls um, in place um, for that. We also will trial or try to have some online meetings as well. So some of you are using Facebook, some of you are using um, going on the church website to, to, to watch the um, Sunday masses and this, this program on a Wednesday as well. So we're going to have some online meetings whereby people can talk to each other, a small group of us can, can talk together online. And um, so that's, that's another way in which we can, we can stay in touch. And in terms of staying in touch as well, we have our pastoral team um, who will continue to stay in touch with um, church members and other people associated with our life here um, in the way that they have for at least um, the next six months coming. Um, so those are the uh, four things, I think, four things that um, we have, we've set in place. That's our plan for the next six months. So Sunday worship continuing, um, as far as we're able to plan for that for the next six months, that we will have the online services continuing for the next six months, that there, might, there will be a provision for people who are vulnerable, clinically vulnerable, um, who would be uncomfortable coming on a Sunday to come at another time um, to, to, to have mass here. Uh, and then we'll have our online meetings as well so people can talk to each other online and we'll provide help where we can to get people um, onto those meetings, into those meetings on, on the internet, on the computer, on your iPad or whatever, however it is you, you, you sort of describe being online. Um, so those are the four things that we're um, going to be going to be doing. That's our plan. Um, I welcome feedback, and as with any other plan that that, that we might make, um, it's sure to change and have a bit of difference thrown in um, along the way because that's what happens when you make a plan, um, the best made plans and all that. But that's that, that's kind of where we're that's where we're planning where we're planning to go. At this point, I would like to, on behalf of um, our church wardens, Bernie and Hyacinth and our treasurer and myself, we'd like to thank all of you who have continued with your giving, um, that you've continued to um, give uh, to the church on a regular basis. And I'd like to say a big thank you to you if you've continued with your Giving because we wouldn't really be in a position to reopen the church at this stage if that um, donating, that giving hadn't continued. Um, that's, that's black and white, really. So thank you. Thank you so much for your, um, thank you for your generosity. So I think that's um, all I need to, to touch on today. Um, this is a dynamic situation whereby um, things, things, things change very quickly, things have changed very quickly. Um, the Church of England has had to um, come up with guidelines for us to reopen the church and support for us to reopen the church very quickly, really, because I don't think any of us were expecting churches to open quite I don't think any of us were expecting churches to be able to open quite as quickly as, as uh, we, we have been able to reopen. And so the way in which we're reopening is, is based on guidance from the Church of England. It's not um, my opinion or anybody's opinion here or anybody else's opinion in, in Birmingham. It's um, advice from the Church of England based upon um, medical and the, the, the advice from there or our are um, scientific and medical advisors. So um, if you'd like to look at that and, 
quite how that's panned out and the whys and wherefores. Take a look at the Church of, in Church of England website, those of you who are, um, have access to the internet and, and uh, take, take a look at that there. Um, and equally, if you've got any questions, then please do, um, please do be in touch. The last important thing about the reopening of the church on Sundays is that we'll need to take a few basic details from everybody who comes in the door. Um, we're required to do that, and um, so we, we'll need to do that. Just, just to forewarn you, um, yes, we know who most people are um, who, who come, and, and if, if we need to, um, what their contact details are, but, but we need to, uh, for, the, for these purposes, to um, take that information, uh, some basic information, as, as, people, as people come. So I think it's really important that we um, work together, that we um, were in regular touch with each other um, over the course of the, the next six months. Um, effectively, we're talking about um, the, the, the second half of the year, really. Um, so it's, it's really important that we stay in touch. We're uh, what, what's, what's called um, in church speak a gathered congregation um, here in, in All Saints, Small Heath. That's, that's to say that um, it's not like a village where people that go to the, the local church all live in the streets adjacent. We, we come, um, most of us, from some quite, quite some distance away. So in order for us to maintain... Um, and build our life here um, in, a, in a different way now, um, we, need to, we need to stay in touch and I'll endeavour to be as communicative as I can about the, the things that are happening because I think that's, that's really important, hence um, me talking to you in this way today. We will be in touch with people individually now um, as, as a result of this announcement, but I think it's important um, to, 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 to do this today because this has been an important way that we've communicated um, what's, uh, what's going on and um, so, so I've, I've uh, spoken to you in this way. Please do spread the news about the things that I've talked about and we'll, um, as I say, we'll be in, in touch with people. I hope this doesn't seem like a grandiose um, um, announcement from, from me. Um, be pretending to be more important than I am. Um, we're, a, we're a small, um, friendly, uh, small, growing, uh, friendly church in, in a suburb of Birmingham, but, but we're, we're, we're uh, uh, wanting to, to keep, keep things together and move, move forward together. So that's why I'm um, talking to you in this way and spread the word, tell people about what we're, tell people about what we're doing. And equally, um, if you know people, and some of you have, have mentioned this to me, if you know people who um, don't have access to services in their local church or, or they're at home shielding or whatever it is, then um, point them towards our website. Um, you know, um, we, can, we can offer that. That's a ministry that you and I um, can offer to, to friends and people we know. And... Um, you know, there are people, people in my life from my previous um, uh, parishes and places who are sort of tuning into things here, and you'll have friends who can tune in, and that's that's um, that's our ministry. It's something we're we're able to offer other people. Um, and thank thank God for it that we we're able to to do that. And the the, the broadcasts are, and wouldn't be possible without the help of um, of Manjit, who's who's um, Made, made these broadcasts possible. Um, I certainly don't have the way with all um, to, 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 to put things, the, 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 the broadcast together in the way that he has um, in, in a, such a beautiful um, professional style. Um, I can celebrate mass for sure, but, uh, and, and, and we can film things and stream things from here, but in terms of that quality of those um, of those broadcasts, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. So it's it's Manjit. We're we're grateful for his um, his uh, talents with with with, with these uh, with these things. There we are, you know. Um, so I think that's um, all I want to say at this moment in time.
Um, I think we will just now have a few moments of uh, prayer and uh, we'll pray for our church, uh, for churches, for Christians, for people of faith in these coming days. Um, difficult decisions to be made. Um, most people aren't used to doing risk assessments and uh, making assessments of, of um, their churches to see whether it's possible for the church services to continue. It's, it's unfamiliar territory, so we pray for our churches and other places of worship who are, who are doing, doing this. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, we pray for our church. We pray that through our collective ministry here, we may spread the good news of Jesus. We pray for the churches in Birmingham. For all that they are able to do and offer and for other places of worship too. We pray that the reopening of temples and mosques, meeting places may be peaceable and that people may come together in a safe way to bring goodness to the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for ourselves. We pray particularly for those anxieties that we all carry. We pray that we may have the courage and perseverance to place into your hands those things we cannot fathom ourselves. Pray that we may face up to our own shortcomings and that we may not look forward, that we may look forward rather, look forward and not back. What's happened in the past shaping where we find ourselves today, we pray that through our experiences and learning we may together make tomorrow a better world, a better experience for ourselves and for those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. We pray too today, we join our prayers with the intercessions which will take place at the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. At this uh, juncture, um, for lighting candles in church, it's going to be easier to light these traditional ones, safer to light traditional candles. So when you come back here, you'll be able to light a candle. But today, we join our prayers with the prayers from the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, and we remind ourselves of this great gift to our nation, the uh, story of Our Lady of Walsingham, that holy place which offers prayers on a daily basis for our, for our, for our um, country and for the experiences, problems, joys, asking for grace here in Great Britain. We, we give thanks for, for that gift, that gift of Walsingham. And uh, in so doing, we join our prayers with those of Mary, our Lady of Walsingham, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So, thank you for joining me today. Um, the church is open this morning from 10.30 until uh, 12, and as I say, I will 
no doubt look forward to seeing some of you on Sunday. Please do let me know where you find yourself, um, whether you're going to stay at home and watch the service, whether you're going to return to church. Uh, I'd love, love to hear um, where you find yourself with, with uh, decisions that you, you'll need to, need to make um, about what you would like to do. And um, it's always nice to hear from, uh, from anybody that wants to be in touch with me here. So um, please do be in touch.